just looks incredible. Roger Deakins just has such an incredible eye, and every single frame of the movie is just, just uh, you know, beautiful. For my money, Roger is the finest cinematographer alive today. I have an overall kind of approach to cinematography, then it should be as simple and as submissive to the script as possible, really. Because I think so much is about the relationship with the camera and the actors. You know, I love the idea of seeing Rooster for the first time from Maddie's point of view, but not getting a clear view of him. And gradually, as she came into the courthouse and moved around him, he sort of revealed, you know. And then I wanted to feel this sort of shafts of sunlight just blasting through this, these lower part of the blinds and the windows. But then I also wanted to feel the darkness and the, and the feeling of the oil lamps, you know, in the room or gas lamps as they were. The courtroom scene was really a spectacular day because Roger Deakins was, was shooting it. And the lighting in that room was just spectacular. I believe you testified you backed away from Aaron Warden. That's right. Which direction were you going? I always go backwards when I'm backing up. <laughs> <laughs> to me, one of the iconic images out of the film is the hanging man in the tree that they come across in the forest of Cottonwoods. Originally, we were looking for a location that was this, like, empty plain with a stand of three or four trees. One day, we were driving to Los Alamos to look at a location up there, and down in the valley, there's this whole strand of cottonwoods. And I, I said one day, I said, well, why don't we look in there? That might be kind of interesting. So the whole thing sort of changed from being one look to being this other look. I think, to me, it's an amazing image, all these kind of dead-looking, wintry cottonwoods and this body hanging. Also, we needed this little montage sequence. And I said to the guys, oh, wouldn't it be kind of interesting if we did a crane shot? So they're not just on the horizon, but as they're riding across the horizon, the camera's moving, but what you see is the mountains appearing in the background of the shot. It's, it's like almost like the mountains are growing behind them. I just love playing with visuals, so if somebody gets it, if somebody appreciates your work and the, the film as a whole, that's kind of nice, yeah.